welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be making a poor man's flow hood out of a 20 inch box fan. The box fan I got was the Lasco's 20 inch box fan. It has five blades on it and I used a 20 inch 1900 particle uh, filter. Right here I'm just making, taking off the uh, feet for the box fan. I'm going to be attaching that to the box fan. This is important for this box fan. I'm not sure how it is for other box fans. Uh, for the filter, you're going to have to make sure that the arrow on the filter housing is pointing the right way. Um, and I just duct tape that to the output side of the box fan. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing how the box fan works and if it works and I'm going to be doing that with agar work in the following clip. A key aspect with sterilization work or any sterile work in a flow situation is using sterile practices. So that means not putting anything that could be contaminated between the flow output and the agar or substrate that you're working on. Um, a key thing is sterilizing the utensils you're using. Right here I'm using a scalpel. Some people like to flame sterilize. I'm Right now I'm using alcohol because alcohol is readily available. Um, this is a culture that I have uh, from a different uh, petri, dish, petri dish project. And I'm just going to be taking a slice and putting it into the wide mouth shallow mason jars then closing up the mason jars so that the agar can grow the culture can grow on the agar and just making sure as I'm going along that I'm keeping sterile practice this is key for any situation A common practice is to sterilize the scalpel between each transfer so that you're not contaminating each agar dish. So some agar dishes may have contamination on it and you just want to make sure that you're not going to be messing up your whole work because that has happened to some people. It hasn't happened to me yet. It may happen because sometimes you just make mistakes and mistakes are, if, if you make a mistake, just learn from it for a future sterile work that you're doing. Here I'm just pouring off water from the petri dish. Um, it's a mistake that was made when I was doing the no pour tech. Um, as you can see my, pr my sterile practice isn't the best but I will learn for future um, projects. If you don't have parafilm it's actually very useful to get parafilm specifically for orthodox petri dishes. I know some people use it for mason jars as well, just if you're doing long-term storage. Uh, I use it specifically for maybe master slants that I put into a mason jar and then I put the parafilm around the mason jar so that no contamination can get into it for long-term storage, obviously. So fast forwarding about two weeks later, I'm in my grow tent right now, just going through looking at if there's any contamination. Um, looking at the first few it's all fine there's no contamination uh, and then we have some contamination obviously I set that one aside and I will dispose of that one uh, where it can be disposed of I disposed it of it in a green bin and this is actually my master slant so I just wanted to show you um, yeah so obviously you're gonna have some contamination no matter what um, it just comes with practice further down the line. You just got to make sure you're doing this, the right sterilization practices. Uh, some of those petri dishes, they could have, there, there's so many issues that could have occurred, right? That, there's so many things that are going on in the world that you can't control. The laminar flow hood is just there to give you some extra control. So you just got to make sure that you're doing sterilization practices that are proper and from from what I've seen, this box fan is perfect for uh, poor man's mycology work. Uh, a really good box fan can cost you anywhere between like 
five hundred dollars if you're doing it all yourself to like five thousand dollars um some people like having a whole room that's just laminar flow which is the holy grail in my opinion because the thing is mold is so so small like the spores are so small they can get anywhere i'm actually in an old house so there's spores that could be lodged anywhere and so this box fan works perfectly for me and i've been using it for the last little bit and it works very well for other things like uh, grain to bulk i've been um, setting up a lot of bags right now i have right around 60 bags that have been colonizing for a little bit and i'll be coming up with a video showing those in the fruiting chamber later and look forward for, to that and uh, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.